This is Danielle Zana. I have a few things to say. Well, I haven't been doing a vlog for quite a while. Um, because I've been having pretty much of a um, terrible time. Well, I'm just going to give a, an update on a few things. Um, about life in general and everything. Um, okay, first of all, um, about my art. Um, I just seem to be having a bit of an issue with my art, um, you know, um, you know, with social sites um, um, at the moment. Um, apparently, I got banned uh, from Anti Foundry again for something that's really two years old. And um, first of all, um, I was just my main motive was just to not be involved in the forums and just to focus on my work and um, apparently some people um, decided to uh, do a forum thread about me and they wanted me to go one you know wanted me off the site and um, and I tried to suffice this situation and um, offered to do for the one chap um, who's well, it's actually four of them I think roughly the same four that um, got uh, got removed uh, in another way I mean got removed two years ago um, you know I, I just think the whole thing is pretty stupid um, in the sense um, the thing was, they decided to do a thread about me, they tried to aggravate me to go to the thread, and I thought, right, I'm not going to bite, because uh, this will just, you know, get me into trouble and get banned. And um, so I thought, no, uh, what I'll do is I offer to do um, um, a free commission, and an artwork, an art piece um, um, for them. And um, for one, the one chap, and um, he told me what we'd like to have, and I thought, right, I would start on his piece. Um, um, I'll start on his piece um, once I finished what I was busy with, because I had already, well, I was already halfway in um, some work um, that I was busy doing, and this was just um, giving me sort of like unnecessary pressure and um, anxiety and um, just that um, on my lot just when I was touching up um, the f when I was finishing up the piece I was doing already doing research for this piece um, such as um, watching videos that could perhaps give me some insight to because one of the the characters would have to be a um, a male, so um, I thought, you know, I, 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 it's not my cup of tea to, to um, draw males, so I thought maybe this would be um, a challenge to try and um, sort of break through that thing I had at the time when I was raped and all that, which is why I mainly do, you know, women and hermaphrodites in my characters and they're, and they're extraterrestrial so they do not have any you know male and female and all that so um, I thought I would you know probably take the challenge and um, as I was and then all of a sudden I was banned and then um, I then created another account and to, to put my views on them because I had no say, I had nothing. I just didn't even want to go to the forum and um, I just didn't have any say so I thought I'd share a few thoughts, you know, because I'm just so sick and tired of people remembering the, the um, what, you know, they, they say, they claim that I'm like a real nasty person. Well, uh, at the time, I was going through tremendous trauma 
uh, when discovering about um, you know my intersex stuff and um, I don't like using the word conditions but I'd say intersex stuff about me and um, <clears throat> and I wanted to express it and um, and I got me in trouble with an artist on DeviantArt and that's how I got banned and all that um, and these people that wanted me to get off DeviantArt was looking for an excuse um, to get me off because I was protesting in some mature tags and all that which really hasn't changed, it's actually, actually gotten worse um, which is why um, I'm not really returning to DeviantArt um, I had, a, I had somebody put up a page um, with two of my most important um, uh, artworks there, but um, so I'm just you know, it's, it's in regards to the extraterrestrials. Um, one is the, um, the 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 code thing, um, the third code, and the other one is with the extraterrestrial star person or whatever you would wish to call them uh, had the um, the red triangle slugs uh, the one thing is quite the, it doesn't really look like a triangle on the slug it actually looks more like the, the shape of a flying saucer and um, so um, I thought I'd you know have them put those artworks up for me so but I don't know how long that page is going to last because I actually please and you know please don't delete the page kind of thing because um, it's a really important artworks um, so far they're not really getting much attention so I'd have to try and figure out some other artwork for that for that sort of idea um, <clears throat> I have joined another type of hentai um, website um, it seems to be friendly. Um, they seem to be a bit more generous and not um, nasty. Like, actually, it's not the entire whole website uh, in Hentai Foundry. It was only four people that are just being a dick out of the whole website. And what they do is, they, when they don't like you, they complain to the admin. The admin, you know, gets sick of them, and then, and then they, basically you end up being the um, the victim and um, it's sort of like um, like a pack animal type behavior like chimpanzees is what I said like chimps um, how chimpanzees um, re react and um, most violence is and bullying, bullying is done by sort of this pack like attitude um, it's actually kind of like a probably a disgrace to um, a pack of wolves on how they um, work with their lives and all that, but more like a pack of chimps is what I, I see how the whole thing is. And um, a pa the thing is, I've joined this other site and I've been on a week now waiting for approval. Um, I think it's called Lush Artists or something like that. And I'm not sh too sure if it's my artwork. You know, I'm looking at it, right? I have done a, th a thing where somebody from the website looked at my artwork to point out any uh, problems. Yes, there's a bit of a thing with the vi vaginas, well, the, the, the sexual, because they're actually hermaphrodite. And I'm, when they show, told me about that, I see, all right, I see a slight error. So I'm actually going to go and, you know, patch that up in my latest piece. Um, so yeah, so um, what? So so the thing is, I gotta fix that up. But um, most of the time, when I was on Hentai Foundry, um, I uploaded work, and very I hardly ever had any rejections. I had, you know, because I always put my anatomy right, um, more or less right. Uh, some people slightly, you know, disagree there, like. Um, Osha's knee and ferrophone, you see. You see, there's just like a slight issue with your anatomy, but it's not really that serious. But I'm work, going to work and try and um, fix that. Um, 
a uh, good thing is where where I'm going is um there's gonna be somebody that's gonna be doing you know live um art classes and things like that where you draw things in the live. It's a possibility I might be probably one of the models, the cat suits, because I don't think they'll be doing nudes. So cat suit is the closest thing to me, but you don't see the genital bits, unfortunately, which is part of anatomy. But anyway. Um, yeah, it's that issue, and it's I've been pending for a week now, and it's like, uh, you know, and um, I'm just wondering if the scrap, um, with um, with you know this 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 um what's nonsense about me or rumours about me, um, from two years ago when I was in that terrible state has um kind of like made it difficult for me you know to put my work on um sort of like social sites um um and they're not they probably might be that that they're hesitating me i hope it's wrong but because i just found out when i was just cross christening on the uh fur affinity forum apparently uh, then they actually um I actually got their viewpoints um, and now what I'm going to say is I, I may have probably came out like a bit of a arsehole but the thing is what people don't understand is the story behind the story kind of thing in real life when discovering my intersex issues the secret that was kept from me from my parents and it was quite a, a drastic, a drastic year, um, and then having on top of it where um, my artist acquaintance or whatever just didn't seem to understand, and I was looking for help, and we were clashing, and um, and I just went into this drama brawl thing. Um, which caused me to get banned from uh, the two websites. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you know, the thing is, it's two years ago, and I don't understand why people would still see me as that person that was two years ago. Um, I've accepted much of myself and all that, and. Um, it's just dealing with um, sort of like discrimination, um, you know, like going to town and all that. It's still that that issue, but more or less, you know, bigotry from people. And if people see you in a state from, you know, it just makes it worse, and that's what actually happened. If only they knew um, what. Um, I had been going through in real life um, I had tried to communicate I, I do have an issue with communicating I find it hard to express myself in words sometimes um, sometimes I do pretty better in poetry sometimes that's why uh, when I was protesting on Deacon Art I used to write poems <laughs> um, but it didn't work, uh, so, yeah, because I'm trying to move forward from all this, and really try and, you know, just focus my work, and it's because of the thing what happened, actually, in these last two years, from that incident, I've basically become more of a recluse, um, um, I'm more sensitive, and so, the only way to be um, strong about it all is just not to really get too close to people or say too much to people um, unless you're looking for answers sort of like a mirror perspective of yourself um, because people tend to always look at your negatives rather than your positives on this planet and um, uh, and yeah 
So, um, secondly, what I was going to say is, I'm actually on uh, trial for. I, I don't want to talk about that. I think I'll probably discuss that after that. What has happened with that? Because that was totally unfair as well. So yeah. Um, I was going to talk about um, uh, flying saucers and UFOs. Um. But I'll leave that. I'm just at the moment, um, just giving update about my art, the struggle that, that from I'm still struggling from two years. Um, you know, I thought sometimes I wish, you know, people would bury the past, and um, and just you know what's happened in the past happened in the past shit happens. But um, to try and bring up the shit again and make my life more difficult, such as you know, just adding to the rejection, like a rejection on the rejection. Um, um, it's just you know, it's just bringing me down, and um, and I just basically what I'm hoping is I hope I get that pending up this studious thing would just. You know, I'll get accepted and all that. You know, because um, I just I don't know. I just don't need it. If uh, a rejection, because to be honest, when I was an anti foundry, I never had any um, submission rejections, except for one reason was I think it was a traditional piece um, where I did not. Um, uh, crop the picture properly. Um, you know, adjust it that it look good in a digital format. And then number two was because um, yeah, most of the time in my past I was mainly doing photo manipulations more than drawings um, because they they look to me they look better. Um, you know, technology. You know. So basically, you know, people want to see your skill, they want to see your skill more than the work kind of thing. I don't know why, but yeah, so now I'm focusing on the skill, you know. Um, yes, it's quite frustrating because, you know, I'm not really into uh, money and that with my artwork. Um, the I'm not really into that. I'm more like giving and just have but that make me feel myself happy and then people when I share it just like it, it it's I don't know it's hard to put words um it's more like a gift so for myself and for others mainly for others that they would you know feel happy uh, and enjoy the work um free their minds um, from oppression and that sort of thing and that's why I like to focus, do a lot of sensual work because it it frees the mind it, it's soothing just as much as like I, I enjoy doing it um, um, so yeah and also another thing, oh yeah um, um, Another thing is, um, in connection with um, this rigmarole that where the past had been dug up, not by me, but by people rediscovering me, um, um, I've noticed as well that the lack of empathy well there, there's a there's an increased lack of empathy um, going on in sort of like these online art forums and things like that um, I don't know if it's because of my my issues that I'm you know 
quite hyper-sensitive and I take things more to heart very easily. Um, but some of the comments I read, what people say to other people is like hurtful. Um, you know, I like, you know, you, you know, somebody was just asking for help, they don't know what this, what the potting and all that, and it's just like, blah, blah. and, um, and that was like really, okay, yeah, but um, I don't really comment much on the forum, although it is healthy to try and socialise, um, that's what I need to work on because uh, I find it very difficult to socialize especially after the dilemma you know that been going on from two years ago because um, I saw you know when when coming discovering my intersex issues I saw somebody did work on this sort of thing and knowing that they do work on this sort of thing, they probably had some research background and being an artist um, with another artist, you know, art artists tend to, you know, click together but uh, no, 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 it didn't work, it didn't work and it did more than backfiring actually, it's kind of made me very, made it very difficult um, for me um, to get anywhere uh, online um, because um, the situation in real life with um, getting out there um, it's very different you know I tend to be more of a recluse actually in real life than um, online because online uh, people, I don't know, because you, you're on the other end of the computer kind of thing, and you know, you can, you can get away with a lot of things. And this is what some people do in negative, in a, in a in a negative way, the trolling and things like that. So yeah, I think I'll probably finish up the video. Oh, uh, okay. I think I should I bring the topic about the UFOs? Mm. <clears throat> I would because I'm um, because after this trial thing, because um, I was thinking of taking a visit out to Randall's home and that um, to see the UFO landing site that happened in 1980. Um, because I think it's very closely linked. Um, to perhaps the reason why I'm here. Um, you know, when you're in life, you always try to find out why the hell I'm here, why is it life like this, and so on and so forth. So, I want to go there because the moment with this issue, with the trial issue, um, it's I don't, I don't know, I'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I, I just gotta, you know, fix this artwork. Pick. Um, oh, yeah, and also another thing was, um, I had just been talking with somebody, um, uh, right, right about, with, about my mother with the UFOs. Um, you know, the first time when I was 11, I met a nun, and yeah, um, and um, how I had the evidence uh, of the footprints um, um, you know had it and it's gone like oh it's gone 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 because it's nice to back yourself up if you've got the physical evidence so, yeah, and um, that's when I started drawing actually. And looking at me where all well, I'm doing now. So, th so there is a bit of a progress. 
um, in a sense. But um, but there's always a continued battle with people. Um, um, and getting your work out area. What I was going to say is what what is art related. Is I'm always jumping topics. I think I'll finish the UFO one and I'll go to the the art related one again. Um, with the UFO, um, is the time when I met her with Ananya, my mother, uh, because of her religious um, uh, perceptions, um, said Ananya was an angel, and when she discovered my drawings, her perception of angel went to demon, and which is which is quite something, and even when. The, the the year before I left South Africa to England, um, there was a big um, flying sort. Of, actually, it was not really a flying sort. It was like a big giant castle or thing. It was like fat and it had little things like that. So the edges. That's what how I saw from the airfield because I I, I was. I can't remember now that now thinking back to the thing I can't remember getting out the house to see this thing I can't remember that but all I remember is um, standing by the airfield watching this go 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 from was from there and then go away and and then go over the farm fields and so on and um, and it looked like sugar cane, but yes, I remember now. I was in my in that in my bedroom, and I thought sugar cane was burning because it got because they got they burned the sugar cane in there's like that um, orange glow, and then I can't remember anything else from that to standing and watching this thing go, and. Um, and then, uh, and then seeing the um, the neighbours in the area, and people driving their cars down the road, stopping their cars and freaking out when looking at this thing. Yeah, like because they were, you know, Zulu, so they'll go, "Hey, corner, hey, ball, ish," and then they blabbered uh, in their language like, "What well, I don't understand," and they were quite um, fascinated this thing, and then. W went to bed after that and then woke up and then my mum told me that she saw this thing in front of her window and it was like um, a wheel with wheels and wheels because it was probably was, she was looking at the underneath thing of this thing and um, and um, and she what happened was she just remembered about Ezekiel and all that and she kind of agrees with the UFO, but she just goes on about, you know, because she relates. She uses the Bible as the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Sort of like an idea where the Earth is flat. <laughs> and things like that, where the Earth is the centre of the universe. And there's a not supposed to be a life existing anywhere else. In, even in the galaxy alone. So, um... So, yeah, there was that thing. And, um... She said it was angels, and yeah, yeah, right. Mm. And then another time was when I went on holiday uh, in South Africa. Um, that's when I filmed um, that flying saucer. I don't remember anything for that, and um, and then later I saw I saw it there in the distance and I went outside and I filmed it um, and you can hear that I've got the video um, on my channel which I think I would post in the description oh and then uh, my um, mother saw this thing quite again close to the window so um, yeah, so there's even times I was with my um, cousin here in the UK, 
um, where we both seen things and even when I used to in South Africa uh, when my cousin was over we went to the airfield and in the distance you should see the the extraterrestrials do this like little light display um, the thing is I just don't understand when with people is when they they seen the things and they they don't know, they just can't grasp the idea of the existence of extraterrestrials which boggles my mind um, where the evidence is there in plain sight and it's I don't know oh yeah and then I'm <coughs> now going back to the art topic um, where as you know I'm sh um, what I don't understand is um, why there are paintings I've got a question why are there paintings where people have just splashed paint on you know here there everywhere no particular um, you know like 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 an, like a figure like anatomy or an animal or even a landscape or even a bizarre landscape or even sort of like Van Gogh type of thing where you could more or less see what it's, what it is but just like splotch or something ridiculous as a white canvas with a red dot in the middle or a red square or they get the brush and they splash and that's it in a white space on a white canvas now why are those pieces they worth um, millions of pounds than something that was done by a skilled artist that draws figures, anatomy, animals, landscapes, the whole tutti fruity to the T. And that norm in that was like probably like a few hundred pounds or even under a hundred pounds. I simply do not understand. For me, something that's got skill seems to have more conscious value than something that's just splish splashed, which an elephant can do, a chimpanzee can do, even my cat can do that. And going for more than a million pounds, I can't wrap my head around that. All I, all I can see at this logically is, um, I can see it logically is these people that don't develop their that the skill of fine art that fine art and they don't develop the skill of that they just want to splash about and make millions the uh, the only thing the reason what, the thing I can say is they don't do the art for happiness, well-being, giving. I see it. I see them as boastful, arrogant, greedy people. They're they they're, they're, they're actually actually like marketers in a sense. Yes, they actually like. I think these 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 these, these so-called artists they 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 only they don't know how to paint, but they know how they know how to sell. That's it. That's what I say. Same thing with the photography as well. Um, I I like it when when you try and separate photography, um, from art. Uh. Um, photo manipulations more that's more of an art because you take your photos or you get stuck but in, and you creatively put them together and all that 
I know it's cheating in a sense in the idea of a fine artist, but um, but even when I was when I tried to sell my paintings um, on a bridge uh, down in Newcastle, uh, I just simply don't know how to sell. But all I tried. Um, the photographer basically invaded almost the whole bridge. That's the thing with photographers that, like, for example, Demi you know, it's just <laughs> photographers just like take over, they like invade, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'm about to say at the moment. See ya and Namaste.